Welcome back to the Spy Games channel. This is Nick, and we're back here in Prison Architect. Um, and last time I left off, we were going to redo this little area for some minimum security. Now, I think I would like to get some, like, dorm-type areas in here. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Nope. Wait, that's four. Four and five. This is a odd sized room. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I wonder how many guys we can put into this one little area if we can keep a nice big set of jail doors here to keep them all contained and maybe make a little dorm. And we could try it and then if that doesn't work out too well, we'll might just do something up here for them and rearrange all this. So Let's go concrete guys. <clears throat> there and then we're gonna need some lights in here. And then these rooms are going to need jail doors. Dormitories. Now we want to take and we want. I said we got three new prisoners coming. So we got all ten of the minimum security guys, and then the three medium security guys that we were going to go ahead and get. So now we need to throw some bunt heads in here. Can we put all ten of them in here, you think? One, two, three, four, five. We'll do five in each one. Well, I mean, that will hold ten, and this will hold ten. So we'll just see where they want to go. And we're going to put a couple showers in here. And a couple toilets. Right next to the shower. Why not? this one and move it. I want to move it down a block. Lock that open. That way these guys can get in here. Let's see, we're going to need some pipes. Okay. 
that. And then we're going to put um, a wall back here. That will make that look like this one. So, we'll wait for our... Okay. Gonna have to keep letting these guys in and out. And, okay. What? What's this lady doing? I don't even know. <laughs> well, until this gel door gets installed. Uh, control, left click. Okay. There's that. Why is this... Okay. I think these X's are here because there's pipes that are hooked up that don't aren't hooked to the main, maybe. And uh oh, someone oops has been tased. Who is getting tased? Oh, let's see. What at? Uh it's shower time. Did we get our new prisoners? Oh, here they are, here. We have to see if any of these guys are snitches. Uh, snitches tend to uh, die <laughs> fairly quickly. So we'll wait for these guys to get here and we will um, pause the game. Oh, here they're all coming. Gotta get them out right here. I'm gonna see if they can play these guys. Christopher Levers, Carl Larson, Sandra Lawrence, Hans Hatinamea, however you say his last name, Duncan Goodman, Barry. Oh, now, why has he got a different. His jumpsuit's just slightly different than everybody else. Yeah, I don't know. This guy's got on a great jumpsuit. Why does this guy have on a shirt? Or just a t-shirt? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, none of them guys are... Oh, here's some more. He has an unknown reputation. Uh oh, he's a snitch. We need to put him into uh, protective custody. We don't want that guy getting killed. That's usually what happens to snitches in the prison. They, uh, they get killed very quickly. So now we need to make, oops, we need to make a part of the prison that's going to be for protective custody. Which we might be able to do this. We might be able to make one of these storms protective custody. Let's just see how that goes. Moment. Protective custody. And minimum security. What's taking so long with these pipes, boys? Okay. And then this canteen, we're going to have to make everybody shared. Hmm, I don't think that's going to be a good idea. I think maybe we could share the protective and the minimum security with with these guys. I think all they need is a canteen. How big does the canteen need to be? Canteen, canteen. Who sees it? Canteen. Canteen, 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 where's the kitchen canteen? Um, it doesn't say how big it needs to be. Let's do that. Let's do a nice little canteen. And we will get some benches. Some tables. 
Okay, and this kitchen here should be able to service this this area. Some solitary confinement, just in case these guys do get out of control. Gonna do with this little area. We can make a little common room, I guess, and see how that goes for these guys, because these guys are gonna need their own little space. And I'm hoping they'll just go up here to this one. I hope the minimum security guys won't come into here, but we're gonna see. Because I'm not gonna block it off and say this is minimum security only. Let's just put a regular door in here for right now. Okay, why does it still say that it needs water? Why did we not connect this up? I do not know. But look, the minimum security guys are already in the cleaning cupboard. They've already got jobs. Huh. That's pretty nice. Um, solitary confinement. Oh, I guess we can do this. And then we're going to put toilets in these. So that way these guys will stop crapping all over the other ones. And we need solitary doors. I don't think they need lights. In fact, they're not getting lights. However, we do need some more lights over the... the canteen. That way these guys can see to eat. Because I think that's a good idea. Uh, it looks like all of them are in here. These guys already have jobs. And where's he going? Now, one thing I thought of, I was wondering why nobody is in here doing this job yet. And I think that's because... I need to redo the schedule here and see. That's 12 to 2. And... Nothing. I mean, there's no one even interested or qualified. Why is there no one qualified? We don't have anybody interested in that job. Hmm. Um, general education. Maybe a workshop safety is what I need to do. And. Okay. Now there's 14 interested in that one. So, we won't do carpentry yet. Let's do workshop workshop safety induction. That way these guys can learn how to use our working tools. And that will be good. Um, have we got anybody working in the library? Oh, okay. We do have a CCTV camera in here, I guess. So that's good. We should probably station... A guard in here. I think that would be okay. And the only thing else we don't have for these guys is a shower. So we probably better build a small shower up here. Well, I guess they do have showers in their rooms. They don't have an actual shower for shower time. But they do have showers in their, sh their rooms. And we'll see how that goes. Um... 
Just in case you do hear somebody singing in the background from my microphone, my niece is is singing. Oh, I forgot their serving table. Uh, okay, we'll get a we'll get a couple serving tables put in here. Looks like a few of the minimum security guys have decided to come up here. To join in on the uh, shared mutual cantina. Yeah, I will just make this a little bigger. We'll just bring it all the way out there. We'll add. Uh, we can add another table that way. And one more bench. Now, as soon as our Worker guys, get up here. And here comes one. Maybe he's got. Maybe they've got the uh, serving tables. There they go. Okay. Now, even though it's eat time, these guys still have not been fed yet because none of the cooks have taken meals over here. Here they come. Okay, eat up, boys. Oh, well, you almost got to eat. Well, you just got to be hungry for a while. And let's see, water pipes. And then... Hot water pipes. That's hooked up to water. water the water to be poked up to it I guess I don't know we'll see how that goes no nah, I really don't need that that way. that way we'll keep it as a, a nice little clean alleyway here now I think one thing isn't there where's the staff room I think I'd like to build another little staff room up here Staff, 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 staff. The world, how come I can never find these things? Where is it say staff? Oh. There. Four by four. Um, because right now the only staff room is way, way over here. So maybe we should build a staff room somewhere here, kind of more centrally located for all of this side. I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't even know what we're using this room for yet. Another thing we need to also work on is... A mail room, that's the only one. That and the reception. We really don't have a reception room. I mean, we could easily make the front, this piece here, reception. This is where everybody comes into the jail. This needs an office desk, a table, and a chair. So, an office desk. And a chair. And then we'll put some chairs here. So all these guys can be brought in here. And we'll put a table over here. So they can't get another table in here because we got the trash can there. Which is okay. I'm okay with that. Actually, I don't really need that chair. I guess there. But even though we paid for that chair. Let all these guys in here so they can get the job done. Okay, now we have a reception. How's our minimum security? What's that? 
Oh, go back. A notebook. Another notebook page. All right. Page 43. So we're getting a few of these notebook pages. Little by little. Looks like I got four of them. All the pipes are hooked up. Water is hooked up. Let's check the hot water now. So now we need to bring... Hot water from here to here and then down. here because this hot water here just isn't pumping enough out for this kitchen now so anywhere else that oh yeah I forgot I put the wrong pipes here didn't I I think everywhere else has hot water okay uh, don't we have a guard posted up here We have 22 guards and 121 right now we have minimum security 10 and we have a minimum capacity of 10 um, what does that intake because we really don't we can't we can't do any more guys for minimum security right now unless I put some more bunk beds in here really pack them in there I guess and uh, just see how many we can get in here We'll leave it with 10 for a little bit. Because yeah, we only got one guy here in our protective custody dormitory. And we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully he doesn't die. We've got trees in the workshop. We've got trees being cut down out here. Oh, I just happened to think these guys here don't have any yard. I wonder if we can just make a small yard up here. Uh, the other thing is, I'm pretty sure that some of the other prisoners might come up here to try using the yard too. Yard. I think it was from here to here. And that's a nice big yard for minimum and protective custody. All right, we just got 270 bucks for something. I don't know what it was for, but we got 270 bucks. Looks like the uh, guys will have the fence put in before yard time. Everybody's uh, sleeping. So I wonder what these guys are going to do when it's time. I better put some more shower heads in here too. Because these guys are not going to have, I mean with 10 of them in there and the possibility of even more, they might not have any time at all to, uh, Everybody filter to these just these two shower heads. Somebody left the laundry basket in here. Uh, we'll see. 
We're getting ready to have shower time, so we'll see what happens. Oh, well, there you go. There are a couple guys showering during shower time. Everybody's taking turns. And somebody's getting tased over here. Where was it? Who got tased? I heard a tase. Somebody's been tased. I don't know who it was. Alright. Minimum security and protective custody can now get their eat on because they are probably very hungry. Since they did not get to eat earlier. Ian Underwriter is 40. And he is a snitch. Well, Ian, welcome to prison. Welcome to my prison, Ian. I hope you uh, enjoy your stay. You and these other yahoos here. You can just kind of mingle around, I guess. When's yard time? After work. So they're going to have free time. Okay, we got the extra showers installed, so I don't know what these guys are going to do for free time. I guess they... They might go out here to the yard. I don't know. Let's see, where are they going? Some of them are going out to the yard. Some of them are going to go back here and get cleaned up. Where is this guy going? Skinner. He's talking about something. Oh, alcohol. That's one thing I forgot we were going to do. We were going to do an alcohol um, AA meeting. Did we ever set that up? Oh, we did. Never mind. Uh, looks like everybody's sitting in here. I think it's a common room. Oh, never mind. Here's the psychiatrist. And he's uh, talking to these guys about their alcohol issues. Come on in, sit down. Have we started working down here yet? Oh, the foreman is here and he is teaching. We have a couple guys. Oh, look. There's some minimum security, some maximum security. We don't have, oh, here we go. Guy to patrol up here into the cleaning cupboard and down in here to the workshop. Go back here to your station. Actually, let's just have you patrol just in here. Oh, and somebody, somebody has been tased. So far, the prison seems to be running fairly well. It's now work time. What happened? There's a death. How come there's who died? Who died in the in the laundry? Oh my gosh. Tom Stevens was a snitch. And now he's dead. And it looks like 
Jake the Toaster Hall is the one who might have killed him. Attacked a prisoner, serious injury, and then of course he died. Oh, uh, who's this? No. Carl. Carl killed him. Carl? Isn't that you're going to per you're going to lock up for twenty four hours. Dude. Jake? You're going for twenty four hours too. I don't know why that had to happen in the laundry. Of course I don't think we have we don't have a camera or anything in the laundry. Well, we're just gonna have to remedy that. I wanna make sure I get this going the right way. Okay, here we go. <sighs> I tell you what, a bunch of animals. Who is manning this? They're probably tired. And we have zero of 22 guys. Why do we not have enough guys? Okay. Four more security guys. Or guards. And we are going to make a staff room right here. And we are going to wall it off right here. Put in the door. And some lights. And... They need some sofas. Two deaths today. What in the world is going Oh no, our protective custody guy. He was a snitch and was killed. By Paul. Oh. So, apparently the shared... And Mr. T must have helped. Andrew Knight. Andrew? You're going 24 hours too. We're going to have to fix this canteen so we can have two separate canteens here. One for protective custody. Well, no. Cancel that job. We're just going to have to make two canteens. Because <sighs> we have a protective custody here. We're just going to have to make this Um, minimum security. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Yeah, I hear, I hear him. Yeah, get him! Allen, Paul Allen has just been Bumped up to maximum security. And you get 24 hours. In solitary. Because you're being stupid in my prison. I don't know what in the world is going on here. But we're going to have to section this canteen off. And make this minimum security. And then we're going to have to build a separate canteen and make it just for protective custody. And then that way we can... You no, know, why do we have these these guys... Well, I guess this must have just been the closest one. We need some of these. Just, oops. I 
wonder why I can't do a, that there. Oh well, we'll leave it. O we'll leave it open like it is. <sighs> Never a dull moment here at the prison, is there? I thought we were doing so well, and then our protective custody snitch has died. This up. And we still need to get a drinks machine in here. We'll go ahead and finish off our... Our nice staff room down here. And then I think we'll call it a day. Because, oh my goodness. It has been... A very busy day in the prison. We've had two people die that were snitches, which we are trying to find now as they come in to make sure that they don't die. And apparently that has failed. Where is the bookshelf? Oh, here's a radio. Let's put a radio in here. Yeah, we need some bookshelves. There you go. Just in case you're one of those people who don't want to watch TV while you're resting, you can have a nice, uh, nice sit and read. I think would be nice. So there we go. Got a new staff room now. So now these cops who are on this side of the prison can kind of come down here and rest. And then, of course, we have our other staff room up here. We might have to look at putting another staff room somewhere up here. But now we have no canteen for protective custody. Which... I don't think we're going to have too many of them. Uh-oh. What is this? substance of land has destroyed a section of our outer wall. You should have it repaired immediately. Uh, yeah. I definitely get this repaired immediately. Last thing I want is some yahoo to be running out here and leave. Okay, at least everybody's asleep, which is a good thing. And we're going to get the serving table put in here. And another couple of benches, which we could turn those the other way if we get a bunch of protective custody guys, but right now I don't foresee that happening. And we will make this canteen protective custody only. So nobody else come up here. We don't want you other yahoos in here with these people who are just taking candy from babies. Oh my goodness. What a day. Well, this has been Prison Architect. And uh, we'll continue to grow the prison and deal with these issues of people killing people in the prison next time. So, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you will come back and, I guess, keep watching me play uh, Prison Architect. Uh, it really is a fun game. There's a lot of obstacles to come overcome.
and uh, hopefully I'm doing a good job. I got a ton of money, so I mean money is not an issue. We just got to uh, figure out how to keep these animals all contained and happy. Alright, so thank you very much for watching, and as always, peace out.